Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're gonna to show you how to use Elementor for exit pops. Let's dive in. Okay, so you'll notice if you go to our, our Flexible website, we've got an exit pop. What we're basically doing is capturing traffic that hits our website and then diverting them to our sales Android. And they convert really well. We've got them on our blog posts, we've got them um, on our offer pages, we've got, got them everywhere basically. They work really well, they get us extra leads that would have been lost. So if you do have an agency website or you're running offers or whatever, then this is gonna be perfect for you. I'm gonna pass you over to Alan, my web designer who does this for us. He's gonna take you step by step through how to do this. Enjoy and I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, and thanks for that, Dan. So yeah, today we're gonna to be looking at exit pops from Elementor. Now, um, as Dan said, yeah, we use this on our website and we also use it across our funnels. It's something that we've put on many funnels for a long time. And if you didn't know already, simply it's another way to gather leads that you may lose that are maybe have an exit intent or aren't paying attention to your call to actions. Therefore, their mouse is traveling off, off the screen, out of your window, and it just gives you that extra little bump to show that you have an offer and they should look at it. So here I've got Elementor open just on their website, um, and it talks a little bit about pop-ups. Now, exit pops are a very specific kind of pop-up. It's not um, just showing after three seconds. It's not showing after the user has scrolled down, you know, 50% of the page, 70% of the page. The idea of an exit pop is to show to show when there is intent to leave the page. Now, this isn't something that you can really trigger on mobile. I can imagine at some point, or maybe some devices have AI or maybe something that can trigger exit pops on mobile if there is a certain scroll pattern or maybe, um, maybe the program can see when somebody is possibly losing interest in the page. But currently, Elementor is only able to provide exit pops for desktop. So, first of all, I believe you're going to need Elementor Pro for this. We actually have a, an affiliate link that I think can get you 30 days free trial, or if it, it might be a 30-day money-back guarantee. We'll put that in the description so you can check that out if you want. But first of all, I'm going to jump into the dashboard of Flexible. So once you're in your dashboard of, uh, of WordPress, you want to go down to Elementor and hit Templates. Then we, here we have uh, Pop-Ups. We have a few pop-ups in here, some are live, some are disabled. You can have them show as footers, you can have them show full screen or just a window in the middle. So once you've clicked on pop-ups, you want to go to add new. Then we've got pop-up selected here, and we'll just give it a name. So let's call this exit pop YouTube demo. Create template. Okay, so now that's fully loaded up, we can see that Elementor gives you a bunch of templates for pop-ups. We don't have to worry about them being exit pops yet, but I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you some of the templates first. You can choose how they sort of behave. So you've got a bottom bar, classic, I believe is just a window in the middle, fly in, full screen, hello bar, and slide in. Now with Elementor Pro, you can also create animations for some static ones anyway. So I probably wouldn't select any of these slide in uh, or fly in ones. I would just go no type there. Just have a look for one that I like the look of. So you've got lots of different styles here. I would just recommend choosing one that you like the look of and then changing it as drastically as you wanted. It's the best way to get started. So I like the look of this one. So we're just going to click insert. Okay, let me just get rid of this. So this looks to be kind of full screen, kind of select the whole, um, select the whole pop up just by clicking this. That's the selection. It's the full width. You can change that down to box and just make it a much smaller, uh, smaller pop if you want, but I'm going to keep it full width for now. And much like most of Elementor, you can pretty much click on anything that you want to edit. So we've got the header, bit of body text, a button and a photo of some artist. So for an exit pop, your 
language might be a bit different to a normal pop-up. You are targeting people that are going to be leaving the page. So you might want to say something like, hold up, or don't go, or something like, wait a minute. This is where you're going to essentially give your last-ditch effort of a CTA to grab your user's attention. This could even be an opportunity to give an even bigger discount. If you're an e-commerce, um, if you've got an e-commerce website or funnel, this may be the chance to add that extra 5% discount on top of the sale that you're already promoting. This is your last ditch effort to essentially get the conversion. It may be a chance for you to offer a slightly different offer. Your page may be quite convoluted. There might be too much information and the person wants to leave. Maybe they're looking for a very specific um, answer or result that you are withholding from them because you want them to go through, you know, a form. So maybe this is a fast, but if they're, if they're going to leave, they've got the intent to exit, you may want to put this exit pop in that gives them the PDF in return for just the email instead of the name, phone number, email, all that stuff. You're about to lose the lead, so this is your last chance to offer your product up to them with a slightly different angle. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to say something like... Okay, I'm just keeping it simple, something like that. If I really was running a sale, I would probably have a dynamic number there that changes to when the actual sale ends and have that link to, you know, whatever sort of uh, e-commerce site that I have running. But I've just got seven hours there for now. I wouldn't want to lie and do this if I did actually have a sale that was running for the, the rest of the week, for example. Much like Elementor, this is just a pop-up builder, but you just go in and change the image here to whatever you've got in your library or choose something from a stock library. Everything's interchangeable. You can click and drag these around. And what you must also do is just make sure that your pop-up looks great on tablet and mobile. I would I'd probably stretch this out a little bit. So just for example, go down here, add some padding to the bottom. Let's give that 20. Just to space it out a little bit. I would spend more time sort of cleaning this up and making sure it looks good. Currently, it's a bit see-through, so it's uh, you can kind of see the background behind this. I, I wouldn't leave it like that, but we're just going with this one for now. Right, so now for the most important bit, you're going to want to go to Save Options and go to Display Conditions. This is where you can choose where the template displays. So a condition can be the entire site or you could go for individual pages and select very specific pages, maybe posts, maybe it's only on your blog, a certain blog post, maybe it's only on the sale page that you actually want to uh, display this. Triggers, this is what you wanna click for exit pops, on page exit intent. You do get all these other options which are excellent and I would highly recommend using these as well. Um, on scroll, you may want to show a specific message in a pop-up when you know that somebody has reached, you know, a sub-headline that's halfway down the page. That's when you can click this one and make sure that the pop-up shows when they hit, you know, 50%. Even if they're going up. So th this is a way you can get around possibly the, the mobile exit intent. Somebody's gone down your mobile page and then they do that sort of quick swipe up. They're, they're looking for an exit or they're looking to, to exit the page. They've had enough reading down. So as soon as they swipe up, you can have it show. Uh, I'll scroll to elements. So yeah, there's a specific element that you want to, um, that you want it to display on. You might have it uh, display on a quiz or like a FAQs thing or whatever. On click, if they hit a certain, if they hit a certain amount of times, then, you know, on click. In activity, of course, choose how many seconds or minutes they've had to, uh, they've been sitting on that page and you can show it. They might have walked away to the other room and come back and you can display your offer then, but we're going to leave it on page exit intent. Now you get advanced rules. This I wouldn't usually play with, but with pop-ups, they can be, if you've got, uh, if, if someone's scrolling through your website and going through multiple pages, you might not want to show the pop-up on every, it depends on how aggressive you're being really with your offer, but you may only want the pop-up to show three times as they've clicked through your website. Or if you have a funnel, 
and you know they're clicking around it like that you only need to take the mouse out of the window slightly for it to show up and that could get annoying if you've got if someone's just trying to browse so you may only want to show it twice also can it, it can hold on to their ip address it can be cookied so uh you can decide to display your sort of exit pop offer maybe on the second or third visit to the page how many times you know it can be it can be a lot for a pop-up to show constantly again it depends on how aggressive you're being so uh you know you might only want to display it twice three times display when arriving from a specific url show when arriving from where's this one okay that's cool hide for logged in users that's useful for just when you're working on the page so for example we might want to hide it from somebody who works on the blogs you know just so when they're editing and chat and pre previewing the work it's not constantly popping up for them that's just back end stuff show on devices yeah, you can hide from mobile if, if that's the way you want to go show on browsers so you can hide from chrome or firefox and schedule a date and time Let's say you've got a, you're all working together to get a certain offer out at a certain time. You may only want to have this pop up go live next week. Okay. So we're going to click on trigger, page exit intent, next. Going to leave all this off, save and close. Then you can go have a look at the exit pop. Going to drag my, uh, I'm going to drag my mouse off the screen now and have that display. So thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty simple. That's a pretty simple look at Exit Pops with Elementor. If you do want more videos on Elementor, different tools, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do more like this. I know this was a pretty simple video, but I'm happy to do more like this or more advanced ones if you're looking for that. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll pass back to Dan. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much, Alan. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial today. If you haven't done so already, you should get them up. It's pretty easy and fast and simple. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Uh, if you've got any questions for Alan, or all, Alan at all, please ask them in the description box. And finally, subscribe to our channel so you'll be first to know when we create our new videos. I'll speak to you soon.